In this video, I'll share with you the ultimate chest and best bicep sculpting workouts. These muscle groups will give you the V figure you've been looking for and look good in any outfit. So we're going to focus on that today and we'll walk you through how to execute each workout with the perfect form to ensure maximum muscle growth and minimal injury. First, we'll start off with one of the largest muscle groups of the body, apart from your legs and back, the chest muscles. The three most common ultimate chest workouts are standard push-ups, alternating one-handed push-ups, and shoulder reduction. Number one, standard push-ups. Begin in the up position. Hand position can vary, but should be at least slightly wider than the shoulders. Keep your elbows close to your body and lower yourself very slowly. Keep your back straight and do not allow the knees to touch the floor. Lower to within one to two inches of the floor and pause momentarily. Keeping your back straight, slowly raise your body to the up position. Inhale while lowering and exhale while raising yourself back to the starting position. By placing your hands wider apart, you'll be able to work more of the outer pectoral muscles. The standard push-up variation is best for beginners to develop overall pectoral muscles, and if it's too difficult for you, go ahead and do knee push-ups, a variation where you place your knees while doing push-ups. When you can do at least 30 push-ups and are ready to move on to the advanced level, you can switch it up with different push-up variations to challenge yourself and engage different parts of your chest to build those full, nasty pecs. Want to challenge yourself to do something crazy? Try alternating one-handed push-ups. Here's how you do it. Your feet should be spread as wide apart as is necessary to maintain stability. The supporting hand should be close to the body as the push-up is performed. The chest and knees should not touch the floor, and the other arm will be naturally held up and away from the floor. Another ultimate chest workout that everyone should include into their routine is shoulder reduction, or more commonly known as chest flies. Unlike push-ups and bench presses, the chest fly workout engages the chest muscles more because this is purely a bodybuilding workout to sculpt the chest muscles, whereas bench presses are more of a powerlifting workout. And the range of motion of doing a chest fly is a lot wider than presses. So, how do you do it? Here's how you do a standard shoulder reduction. Feet should be placed comfortably on the floor, making it easy to push against the ground for stability. A seat belt helps to reduce excess body movement and isolate and exercise the chest muscles. The upper arm should be in line with the shoulders. Begin with the upper arms parallel to the floor and outstretch to the side midline to the body or behind the midline for a better stretch. Bring the forearms together in a controlled movement. Do not slam the two pads into each other. The arms naturally tend to drop slightly as the forearms are brought together. Allow the forearm pads to return slowly to their starting position. Breathing techniques can vary, but you should either inhale or exhale on each movement. Many individuals find it easier to exhale on the concentric contraction of bringing the forearms together and then inhale on the eccentric contraction of returning to the start position. Do not squeeze your hand grip because this detracts from the workout of the chest muscles by using extra energy. This is one common variation. Most people like using a cable for adduction or flies, but you can also use dumbbells or even kettlebells. Some prefer standing while some prefer to do it while laying on a bench. You can always switch things up for more variation because variety is the spice of life. You don't want your workout to be a boring routine, so well, make sure to keep things fun and interesting. Honestly, the three workouts that I mentioned earlier can really help you grow some awesome pectoral muscles, especially if you're a beginner. A simple routine with four sets of the three workouts can ensure optimal muscle growth because they engage different angles of the muscles. For more advanced lifters, here are some additional chest workouts. 1. Barbell Bench Press 2. Incline Bench Press 3. Dumbbell Bench Press 4. Close Grip Bench Press Presses are more of a power movement and require proper understanding of each movement and should be performed with the right form as injuries are very common with presses. The most common reasons for injury in presses are carrying too much weight and improper form of execution. So, how do you properly execute chest press movements? Number 1. Barbell Bench Press Lie down on the bench and adjust so your eyes are under the bar. Raise your chest up and tuck your shoulder blades down and squeeze them together. Grab the bar with your hands slightly wider than shoulder length apart. Slightly arch your lower back and plant your feet on the ground directly under your knees, shoulder width apart. Unrack the weight by straightening your arms and then moving it horizontally until it's directly over your shoulders. 
Remember to squeeze your shoulder blades together when you perform bench presses and tuck your elbows in at a 45 degree angle for safety and proper execution. A lot of guys risk screwing up their elbows and shoulder joints by not following these two simple tips. Also, start light and drop your ego in the gym. Ego lifting is a surefire way to the hospital, and if you don't want to suffer from unnecessary pain and injuries, be honest with yourself and pick the weight you can handle. Your only goal is to make progress in your fitness goal and not impress other people in the gym. Number 2. Incline Bench Press As mentioned before, the chest muscles are made up of different parts and angles. The common ones are the upper chest and the lower chest, the outer, middle, and inner chest. The upper chest is the least developed part for the majority, and you should really focus on this part more as the upper chest provides the illusion of you having fuller and mightier pecs. And the best workout to target the upper chest is the incline bench press. 1. Load the bar to an appropriate weight for your training. 2. Lay on the bench with your feet flat on the ground, driving through to your hips. Your back should be arched and your shoulder blades retracted. 3. Take a medium pronated grip covering the ring on the bar. Remove the bar from the rack, holding the weight above your chest with your arms extended. This will be your starting position. 4. Lower the bar to the sternum by flexing the elbows. Maintain control and do not bounce the bar off your chest. Your lats should stay tight and elbows slightly drawn in. 5. After touching your torso with the bar, extend the elbows to return the bar to the starting position. Number 3. Dumbbell Bench Press this can be said to be a more advanced level of push-ups as it engages the chest more and you're able to make progress with heavier weights. Here's how you do a dumbbell bench press properly. 1. Lie down on a flat bench with the dumbbell in each hand resting on top of your thighs. The palms of your hands will be facing each other. Then, using your thighs to help raise the dumbbells up, lift the dumbbells one at a time so you can hold them in front of you at shoulder width. 3. Once at shoulder width, rotate your wrists forward so that the palms of your hands are facing away from you. The dumbbells should be just to the sides of your chest with your upper arm and forearm creating a 90 degree angle. Be sure to maintain full control of the dumbbells at all times. This will be your starting position. 4. Then, as you breathe out, use your chest to push the dumbbells up. Lock your arms at the top of the lift and squeeze your chest. Hold for a second and then begin coming down slowly. Tip. Ideally, lowering the weight should take about twice as long as raising it. 5. Repeat the movement for the prescribed amount of repetitions of your training program. Number 4. Close Grip Bench Press. This workout focuses on the inner pecs and triceps. 1. Lie back on a flat bench. Using a close grip around shoulder width, lift the bar from the rack and hold it straight over you with your arms locked. This will be your starting position. 2. As you breathe in, come down slowly until you feel the bar on your middle chest. Tip: Make sure that, as opposed to a regular bench press, you keep the elbows close to the torso at all times in order to maximize triceps involvement. 3. After a second pause, bring the bar back to the starting position as you breathe out and push the bar using your triceps muscles. Lock your arms in the contracted position, hold for a second, and then start coming down slowly again. Tip. It should take at least twice as long to go down than to come up. 4. Repeat the movement for the prescribed amount of repetitions. 5. When you're done, place the bar back in the rack. Biceps are the epitome of fitness. Every man and woman deserves to have some awesome biceps, so you should really incorporate biceps workouts into your routine to grow these proud muscles. And here are my best biceps sculpting workouts. 1. Standing Barbell Curl 2. Easy Bar Preacher Curl 3. Alternate Incline Dumbbell Curl 4. Reverse Wrist Curl and Wrist Curl 5. Seated Barbell Curl 6. Dual Dumbbell Hammer Curl Number 1. Standing Barbell Curl This is the most basic biceps workout that you can see in posters and magazines. It engages both of your total biceps at the same time. 1. With your knees slightly bent and your feet about hip width apart, grasp a barbell with a shoulder width underhand grip. 2. Let the bar hang to your knees. Keep your abs pulled in and your elbows stationary. 3. Without swaying, slowly curl the bar in an arc towards your shoulders as you exhale. 4. Pause at the top of the movement, squeeze your biceps, and slightly lower the bar almost to the start. 5. 
Don't lift the bar completely to your shoulders and don't let it touch your thighs at the bottom in order to keep continuous tension on the biceps. Number two, easy bar preacher curl. This workout engages your inner biceps and brings out the biceps peak. One, position the seat height so your armpits are flush against the pad. Two, place your feet forward to help stabilize your body and grasp the easy bar with an underhand grip so your little fingers are higher than your thumbs, your palms supinate out. Three, slowly raise the bar to shoulder level, pause and squeeze your biceps, then lower the bar to just short of elbow lockout. Number three, Alternate Incline Dumbbell Curl This is my favorite workout hands down because this workout is a perfect isolation workout for the biceps without any cheating movements because the incline position cancels out most of the cheating momentum, increases the range of motion, and you can't really carry much weight when you're lying incline. 1. Set an incline bench to about a 45 degree angle. 2. With a dumbbell in each hand and using a neutral grip, palms facing each other, let your arms hang straight down below your shoulders. 3. Keeping your elbow still, slowly bring your right hand up, turning your hand as you lift so your palm faces your shoulder. 4. Pause and squeeze the biceps at the top, then lower the weight slowly to the start. 5. Repeat with your left hand to complete one rep. I recommend doing 10 to 12 reps for 3 to 4 sets for this exercise to effectively grow your biceps. Number 4. Reversed Wrist Curl and Wrist Curl This additional workout trains your wrists and forearms. Many people ignore this exercise because they don't see the need for it. But do you want to look like a hunk with huge biceps and triceps and arms like twigs? If you want to look good overall and have strong stabilization muscles to move more weights, add in these two compulsory forearm workouts into your workout regimen. 1. Grasp a straight bar with an overhand grip, hands about 10 inches apart. 2. Kneel on the floor along one side of a flat bench. With your forearms on the bench, let your hands and wrists hang over the edge. 3. Curl your hands up as high as possible, then lower the weight to the start position. To maximize your range of motion, keep your thumbs on the underside of the bar. 4. Repeat for reps, then use an underhand grip with your hands about 4 inches apart, thumbs under the bar, and perform the same movement. Number 5. Seated Barbell Curl this is another variation for bicep curls. 1. Load a barbell with 10 to 20 pounds more than you can do for 6 to 8 reps of regular barbell curls. 2. Sit on a short back bench or an adjustable bench set to 90 degrees and rest the bar on your thighs. 3. With an underhand shoulder width grip, curl the bar towards your shoulders, keeping your torso perpendicular to the floor. Don't lean back. 4. Slowly lower the weight and repeat. To keep constant tension on your biceps, don't let the bar rest on your thighs between reps. Stop it just before it touches your legs. Number 6. Dual Dumbbell Hammer Curl This is a killer workout for both forearms and biceps. Every biceps workout routine should have hammer curls in there to be complete. 1. Stand erect holding a pair of dumbbells by your sides with your palms facing each other. 2. Curl both dumbbells toward your shoulders without turning your wrists or letting your elbows move forward. 3. Extend your elbows to slowly return to the start. So there you have it, my ultimate chest and bicep sculpting workouts you can add into your workout routine and grow those highly esteemed muscles. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.